friends, you see, from the date that this video has been posted, it is exactly one month to your A-level biology exams. And so in this one month, it is a make or break time. You're probably going to learn much more than you ever have before. Because, you know, as exams approach, you're going to uh, get a lot of adrenaline. You're going to be stressed out. And so my aim for this video is to tell you a step-by-step -step guide on how to achieve an A or an A-star in A-level biology in one month. But the question is, who the hell am I? Am I even qualified to do this? Well, I am. See, I got three stars in my A-levels uh, last year, so 2023. And as I've highlighted here, biology, I did get an A-star. So I can tell you what to do <laughs> or just guide you, really. You, you see, these steps will work for me, so let them work for you, okay? You see, last year was a traumatic year. It was the worst year you can possibly have done your A-levels in. As you can see from this BBC um, headline, A-level results. England sees steepest drop in grades. The amount of people that I know from my year who are resitting their A-level exams is a bit astonishing. Um, I know it's not their fault, you know, the exams were even harder and the grade boundaries, gosh. Let's not talk about the grade boundaries. They were really tough. They were really, really tough. And um, let's just say many people got screwed over by the results last year. So let's not make that happen to you, okay? Because we don't know what's going to happen this year. I'm not trying to scare you, but I'm just trying to warn you, okay? Um, so before we actually do start with the step-by-step -step guide, I want to give a disclaimer. This video can be used by anybody taking A level biology with any exam board. When there is something specific to OCRA, which was the specification or exam board that I used, uh, I will tell you when that is and when I will speak about it. But in the general sense, this can be applied to anyone. Okay. This um, these screenshots over here. Okay, so the top line is AQ and OCR, and these will tell you the percentage of people who got an A star, A, B, C, D, E, U, <laughs> um, in their A level exams for biology last year, okay, so 2023. So you can just have a look and see, you know, what you're up against, really. <laughs> and then these were the grade boundaries um, for the exams last year as well. I've got AQ and OCR, we could be doing an Excel, you can just search it up, really. But I just put these up because they're the most common. And uh, yeah, it's a tough one, you know, you need to get a lot of marks. <laughs> and so the question really is, how am I going to do that? So that's where I step in. Right. Sit down, okay? Get a pen, or <laughs> pen and paper ready, because I'm about to talk at you and you need to make notes. Are you ready? Okay. Right. So there are two positions that you might be in. Number one, you might know all the content. Okay. But you aren't getting the marks in the mark that sorry in the past papers. Or you can be in camp two. But you actually don't really know the content that well. And you aren't getting the marks as well. So if you're in one, your problem is exam technique. If you're in two, your problem is content and exam technique. Okay. But now the real question is what can I do to solve the problem? So step number one is to find out all the marks in specific phrases for each topic. Let me explain. You see, if you're in camp one, your problem is, a, is exam technique. So there are two, um, I say versions of it, right? So there's one that you don't know actually how to approach questions, or number two, you're writing stuff that are similar to the mark scheme, but actually they aren't matching up to what the examiners want, right? And then if you're in camp two, well, <laughs> Both of them, you know, content and exam technique is your problem. So you need a two and one special. You need to learn the content and you need to know what the marks and specific things are. So if we're doing OCRA, and I repeat, OCRA, this channel, Claire Biology, is fantastic. She, her videos are literally under five minutes and she goes through um, content, right? And then she tells you uh, how to uh, word, let's say, steps in photosynthesis in a way that the mark scheme wants, directly from the mark scheme. So this is why this is your step one, okay? However, what if we're not doing OCIA? Well, you can use uh, Ms. Estrick if you're doing AQA. 
And I'm pretty sure she actually has some other videos on other exam boards, so you can look at that. But if you are doing OCIA, Claire Biology is the one. I will cannot stress to you how incredible her channel is, okay? You can see it from the comments she gets under her videos, how beneficial they are. Okay, so that's number one, step number one. Now, step number two is when both those camps of people merge into one. Next thing you need to know is exam technique. You need to know how to approach questions, how to think about them, what to write. So this channel, uh, this video you're watching is on the channel called Bio Exam Tech, which is my channel. And um, I literally go through exam questions, that's it. And I tell you exactly how to approach them, how to even think about them. Because the problem is, is people overlook certain things in exam questions. People don't know where to start. Do you read the information first? Do you read the question first? What's the order? If it says evaluate, what does that actually mean? What do I need to write? This is where my channel steps in. So the questions I do use is from OCRA, exam board. However, the things that I say in general um, on the channel can be applied to any exam board, right? And so you can have a look and uh, watch those videos. They've worked for so many people um, who have emailed me saying, oh, you know, your videos really help. And I hope they work for you as well. Okay, so uh, give it a try. And of course, if you want something that's more specific to your exam board, perhaps look up um, exam question walkthrough videos and then put your exam board and then A-level biology. And there's some someone uh, similar to my channel, then have a look at them if you're not doing OCIA. So that's number two, your exam technique. So I'm telling you, learn it through YouTube, because, well, people have already paved, paved the way, like I am, you know. Um, I've already struggled with exam technique in year 30, and that's why I actually decided to make this channel in the first place, because um, I know the hardships, right? And so YouTube is going to be your best friend for exam technique. However, however, if you feel like, oh, YouTube isn't really working out for you, get a friend, okay? One friend's enough. <laughs> and go through questions together, you know, and talk through them together. Think about, um, let's say this question was about cell division and it was about mitosis. Well, talk through the question together. Be like, so what do we already need to write? What in the question gives us hints that we need to write about X, Y, and Z? So doing Doing it with a friend really does help out, but YouTube is the ultimate source, but friends really work as well. Okay, so that's step number two. Three, aha, but the most overlooked step in the whole guide. Command words, how can you go to an exam not knowing exactly what a command word is? And I know, you might be thinking, well, hello, it's not that hard to know what explain means. <laughs> you, you would think it's not that hard, but the amount of people who, let's say, uh, in an and then explain question, say the wrong things, or they don't say what the question really wants. It's astonishing, quite frankly. So on my channel, you can use it for exa uh, any exam board, right? I go through every single um, command word, and I go through questions uh, and explanations as to, for example, what is an outline question? How do you do um, compare questions, right? I talk through them. I tell you how to do them as well. So that's very, very important. Now, let me tell you why it's very important. This question over here, okay, it is a four marker. And it says, using figure 16, compare the changes in pressure in the left ventricle with the changes in the pressure in the left atrium. <laughs> oh, this question here. There are so many versions of the answers that I've seen from students. Some students get it right, some students get it wrong. Some students don't know what on earth to write. This is why you need to know your exam uh, command words. What is compare? Compare does not mean explain, right? This is what people fall under the trap of. They are saying, oh my god, you know, um, at the point X or at this time, let's say 0 0.1 second, well, actually, you know, the left ventricle uh, pressure is this. This is because this is what's happening in the heart. No, no, no. No, no. What are you talking about? Take a step back, okay? 
comparing this question actually means just say what you see and just come really um use like comparative language to say okay well at this time left atrium pressure is this left ventricle pressure is that talk about when they are similar talk about when they're different talk about the steepness of the graph that is what compare means in this question not explain so if you were explaining it <laughs> no four marks for you we're not going to get anything and you've wasted your time do you understand why it's so important to know your exam uh, command words now? So this is the uh, mark scheme. And like my past students, or the students I'm even tutoring now, when they look at the, <laughs> the mark scheme, they're like, oh shoot. <laughs> oh no, why am I explaining it when the question never wanted it, right? And that's okay, you learn through your mistakes, but do not make the same mistake again, right? Let this be a lesson. <laughs> so... Yeah, that's step three. Know what the command words are, because it's very important. And the last step is redo your past papers. The one month left, you should have already done all the past papers. Okay. Now, the reason why this is a step four, and I say redo them, is because you're going to redo them with a new awareness. Having done step one, two, and three, you've um, learnt about marketing specific phrases, you've learnt about command words, you've learnt about exam techniques and how to approach different questions. Now is joining everything that you've learnt together and doing the past papers again. But I don't mean doing them in exam conditions. Maybe you save two past papers to do them uh, in proper conditions so you can, you know, get into the feel of it. But what I actually mean, just split screen, okay? Go on your computer, your iPad. And just put the question on one side and the marks on the other. Okay, hide the marks at first, and uh, just read the question. You know, annotate around it. Think about it. Really take your time. This is not about speed. This is about you analyzing and absorbing as many lessons as you can from this analysis of the past papers. So here's an evaluate. Okay, question. So I'm going to annotate what I need to write about agree and disagree points. It says evaluate this conclusion from, from learning about exam technique uh, methods and guidance. I know that when there's a conclusion, I need to analyse the heck out of it, right? So as I've written here, thoughts, these are the things I would annotate around the conclusion. So oh, from the table, what does it prove? What does it disprove? Is there any mention of method about a stats test? What does the table even show? What the difference is? So these are the annotations I would write, and they would allow me to write the question, uh, sorry, the answer, in the best manner possible. Now, once you've done that, and you've taken your time, you know, to really figure out how to answer the question in the way the mark scheme probably wants, is when you check the mark scheme side by side. I would go through every single point on the mark scheme and see why is it the examiner's written that. The more you can really tap in to the analysis, the more you'll get into the examiner's minds. Because we've all been in that position where we've written something that's similar to the mark scheme, but we didn't get the mark because it wasn't exactly how they wanted it. There's nothing worse, uh, or like a worse feeling than that. It just it sucks, doesn't it? It's really bad. And so that's why if you tap into the examiner's minds by doing a thorough analysis of each question, each mark scheme, it would allow you to think like the examiner. That's what we want. And yeah, so you're going to do that for all the papers. And this step is quite beneficial when you do it with a friend as well, just like the um, the two steps above it, above step four. Because if you do it with a friend, you can go through the question together. And of course, two minds are better than one. That person might know some tips that you didn't know and they might know the tips that you know and you can share that knowledge and i did that with my friend shout out to her and uh it was fun it was actually really really fun and we learned so much so you want to make it enjoyable right yeah you have one month to your exams but it doesn't mean you have to rot away in your room no at least have fun with it <laughs> and yeah so those are the four steps of how to get that a on a star in one month for a level biology but there's one more thing I want to talk about, and that's mindset. You did not come this far to just come this far. You've worked very hard, and it's your time to shine. 
day. And I remember I had uh, two quotes that really helped me out during this period of time. This is really stressful. It's really hard. I know. I was here in this position last year. <laughs> and the two quotes that really helped me out was number one, get into the muscle memory of success. The reason why step four is step, step four is because by you know having done the steps before that, you know how to answer questions now. And when you redo these past papers, you're very likely going to get the marks and you're going to be like, whoa, what is happening? This is insane. This was not, the, this is not the same me <laughs> as I was like a couple weeks ago, right? And so we need to really um, get into the muscle memory of getting marks, getting those, uh, those grades that you want, okay? Because then it instills in you confidence. And if you don't feel confident in yourself, well, it's a bit problematic. Take it to you, make it. I don't care if you're not confident, make yourself confident. And that's by getting into the muscle memory of success. And the second thing is you are one step away. You see, the moment I learnt, as I like to say, I grasped exam technique um, in year 13 was a surreal moment, actually, in my whole like year 13 life. And it sounds pretty uh, dramatic. You see, with biology, it's hard. The content isn't that hard, but it's the it's the exams, it's the mark schemes. The mark schemes are the worst thing ever, and I don't wish that upon anyone. But here we are doing the, you know, um, doing biology. But if somebody had told me the day before I've already grasped exam technique that yeah, you're going to know, like you're going to have a set method of answering questions tomorrow, I'd be like, what are you talking about? Don't lie to me. Actually, I genuinely was one step away, and you are also one step away from getting the marks and the grades you want. So keep persevering, okay? This time, as I said, is make or break. But have fun with it, you know? This is a time where you need to be proud of yourself, because all your hard work is going to come to fruition. And before your exams do start, make a reminders list. So This is an example of what I had last year. It's not the only list that I had is one of them but I just wrote some things that I wanted to keep at the front of my head you know and I would review them just literally before stepping into the exam hall they really really helped um and yeah that is the guide remember you've got this if you don't believe in yourself trust that everybody else believes in you and I hope these steps will work for you just like they worked for me okay and uh you know Email me if you need any help. Um, I do, you know, do tutoring, so you can email me there and I can give you further information. And uh, use the comment section to motivate each other, you know. Keep yourselves accountable. Say what you're doing on this day. You know, somebody, uh, if you need help on something, let's say a question, write in the comment section. Maybe I'll rep reply first or maybe somebody else will. And um, just make, I hope you make this video like a collaborative space where everyone can share tips and stuff and I really 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 do hope that uh, these steps and you know, guidance works for you and you do get the grade you want. Best of luck and I shall see you in the next video.